Hi, Kath Cradle here. It's early Friday morning, about 2.07 in the morning. I've had a long day of canning. I hosted the Homestead Honey Hour tonight at PrepperBroadcasting.com. And I should have been in bed a long time ago. My family got to bed way ahead of me. But I had lots of emails to answer from subscribers to this channel. And other business I needed to take care of before turning in and I decided since I'd kind of been out of touch all evening that the last thing I would do would be to uh, check Drudge. I was just about to turn off the computer and I and I should have. You know tonight on the Homestead Honey Hour I talked about all the things going on in the world, all the things we worry about and counseled those who are listening to the show to separate out those things that we can't do anything about and don't worry about them. I need help taking my own advice. I pulled up this story about World War II veteran Delbert Belton, 88 years old, who was attacked last night in the parking lot at the Eagles Lodge where he was going in to play a game of pool. And this morning he died from the injuries, from the beating he got by these two teens who he didn't know who attacked him yesterday. This old man, you can see the picture of him here, he's 88 years old. He was wounded after seeing action at the Battle of Okinawa and lived for all these years until two punks decided to take his life last night. And I know I can't do anything about this, and you can't do anything about it either. But there's something about being human that makes us worry about each other and feel for each other. And I can only imagine how his relatives are feeling to know that he lived this long and survived survived the war only to be beaten senselessly when trying to go in and play a game of pool at the Seagulls Lodge. It's just almost more than I can stand. I'm so tired of reading about these kids killing elderly people. I I just don't have the stomach for it anymore. You know, even though I wish I could take my own advice and that I could let this kind of story just run off my back like water off a duck. Um, it, it serves a real purpose for those of us who are trying to prepare and protect our family and who see the violence escalating in our nation. There is a message here. We must prepare to protect our family. I won't go to sleep as quickly as I'd hoped tonight. And I'll add to my very long prayer list this old man's surviving family members in hopes that in some way they can find comfort tonight. Until next time, this is Cat's Cradle.